was actually a clinically robust study that the medics actually had to take notice of. So it wasn't a sort of, uh, you know, a dog trainer saying, well, I think the dog might do this. It was actually a clinical trial. So the work went on from there, but for a number of years, nothing really progressed because I was still working full time at Hearing Dogs and um, the, the other research team was sort of working on other projects. And um, about 18 months ago, we all decided that this was too important to just ignore. Um, although treatment of cancer is improving all the time, diagnosis of cancer is, is not improving really at the same rate. And people are being diagnosed very late with cancers that if had been diagnosed early, they could have survived. So we decided 18 months ago that time was right and that we were going to take the brave step to set up a new charity to focus on this work and um, we actually um, got charity status in July of this year and uh, we now have a very small team but a team of us actually dedicated to this work for the first time. So 18 months you're a very new charity um, I bet it was very difficult to get the charity going. It was, it was, and I mean, obviously, at the moment, with the sort of um, financial climate, it's perhaps not the best time to start a new charity. But also, the message needs to be put across correctly. The work we're doing, you know, it isn't some sort of, um, it would all, you know, do respect. It's not some sort of fluffy story, you know, where people are sort of thinking that um, the dogs might be doing something. We're talking about an actual um, scientific fact which will lead to other forms of diagnosis. So you're just telling me a little bit of background story about um, how the charity came together. Um, you've just been around for about 18 months and as a new charity it's a bit um, of a hardship to get going. Claire was kind enough to um, be real frank with us and let us know that the table was actually just donated. They Before they had picnic tables in here, this is a very well-deserving charity and um, the Kennel Club are here actually today to, uh, we obviously know that um, the Charitable Trust was very helpful in getting you guys going, is that correct? That's right, yes. Um, obviously in, your, in the early days, uh, funding is so important to get you off the ground and uh, the Kennel Club are one of the first um, trusts to donate some, some money to our cause, so it sort of got us started, yes. So how did that come come about? I mean, how did you hear about the Charitable Trust and go to them to ask for some assistance for getting your charity going? I uh, obviously haven't worked in the charity sector before with dogs and worked at Hearing Dogs. You know, I knew that they'd been very helpful towards Hearing Dogs uh, for a number of years. So um, I uh, also that they're sort of one of their one of their centres is very close to us. So I approached them quite early on and was very very lucky to receive some funding from them. Yeah. How much has that donation helped you get this off the ground, this organization? Well, I think, as I say, the first few years we're really having to um, show that this, this really works. And as, t as, as the sort of research project is moving forward and we're working with a team of researchers, you know, funds s gradually start to come in and we, we always need more funding. We're hoping, in fact, to be able to train another team of dogs from now because we need two teams of dogs. Um, but in the early days, you know, you need some people with a belief in what you're doing because when you've actually started to prove what you're doing, then quite a lot of interest comes from that. But early on, you need those, those sort of people that are willing to stick their necks out of it and say, yes, you know, we believe that dogs can do this. And of course, that's, that's when the kennel club are there to say, you know, yes, we, su we support what you're doing and we, we, want to, we want to know more about what's happening. So... You know, as you said, when you see the dogs work, it's just incredible. And in fact, every time I see the dogs work, it still gives me that same sense of, oh, you know, isn't it amazing what they're doing? And it's just that sort of constant development of the relationship between you know, what we can learn from our dogs. Mm -hmm.